My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 62 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at wave form in vibrating strings or springs. Strings or springs. Remember, wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium or space. And while traveling through the medium or space, it transfers energy without mass transfer. So energy is being transferred in, in waves, but matter is not transferred, or very little amount of mass is being transferred in the process. So, wave can travel through a medium, which means it can require a material or medium to travel. It can also travel through space, meaning it does not require material medium. The guys that require material mediums are referred to as mechanical waves. Mechanical waves. While waves that do not require material medium are referred to as electromagnetic waves. Examples of electromagnetic waves are gamma rays, S rays, ultraviolet rays, light waves. All these can travel in space or without medium. Now, examples of mechanical waves are sound waves, and waves in springs and strings are also mechanical waves. Look at it waves in strings and springs. You can see it from the definition they travel in springs. So the medium are springs. And strings. So they are mechanical waves. Waves in strings are examples of dash mechanical waves. Let's proceed. Based on direction of travel, waves can be transverse or longitudinal. For longitudinal waves, longitudinal, the direction of travel is parallel to direction of propagation, which means if this wave is being propagated here, it will also travel like this, like this, to and fro. It's parallel to the direction of propagation. Where we have transverse wave. For transverse waves, the direction of travel is not parallel, it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So if it's propagated right like this, it travels like this. That is being transverse. An example of longitudinal wave is sound. Example of transverse wave is water wave. Water waves. They are transverse waves. Now look at this. When you have a spring or a string like this, there are ways you can vibrate the springs or there are ways you can produce the wave. You can make here a fist like this while you vibrate the other end so as you do so the wave that is produced is progressive longitudinal at the beginning of this class i did progressive wave stationary waves and i solved questions under progressive and stationary waves this is a series so every class is a continuation of the previous and in most cases i just try to revise and do definition and this will be like up to the 10th time we are defining all these mechanical electromagnetic and so on so just follow from the beginning you will get the best and don't forget to get the flash learner jam application so that after every class you play with questions you do your assignments then you familiarize yourself with other way questions can come and chat me up on whatsapp if you have personal questions or there are questions you are unable to solve on the flash learner jam application so i prioritize those using the app and many persons who got the app last year 
they did marvelously well marvelously and marvelously well in most of my videos you see a lot of persons commenting and sharing their testimony so no jokes when a spring a string is fixed on one end and is vibrated on the other end the wave produced is longitudinal and it is progressive meaning it is moving not a stationary wave it's not standing still or it is not cancelling out right meanwhile when you have a string with two ends fist this is the string here is fist and here is fist once you vibrate this string the wave that is produced is stationary why as this is going here this is going here so there is no net wave it cancels out the net is zero so it is stationary and it is transverse which means the direction of travel is perpendicular to the direction of propagation meanwhile for spring fist in one end and vibrated the wave produced is progressive not stationary and it is longitudinal the direction of travel is parallel to the direction of propagation now there are positions which this vibration can be done in various positions if you do if you vibrate the first position or in first position first position you get one uh, first harmonic first harmonic if you vibrate in the second position second position that is second harmonic you vibrate it in third position third position you get third harmonic so now this first position is f1 first fundamental frequency here f2 here is frequency 3 now look at this i've said this before i've discussed it before and i will still do it again i will just solve questions under harmonics and overtone so the first harmonic is the fundamental frequency f1 or f naught the second position which is the second harmonic is first over two first over two the third harmonic is second over two which means the fourth harmonic will be the third over two the fifth harmonic will be the fourth over two did it before we'll do it again i will solve problems under harmonics and over two now frequencies involved in waves and strings you can have f1 f2 f3 and so on so f1 is equals h1 the first the fundamental frequency is the same thing as first harmonic the second frequency f2 is the same thing as second harmonic if that is so it means frequency and harmonic are the same which implies that f2 can be also the same as 2 times h1 why f2 can be the same thing as 2 times f1 f2 can be the same thing as 2 times f1 because the fundamental frequencies are increasing f1 f2 f3 f4 these are harmonics multiple of fundamental frequency so f2 is 2 times f1 and which is actually correct if this is 1 2 and 3 f2 is 2 so 2 times 1 that is 2 and look at this formula for harmonics and length if you are given a spring the length the wavelength is 2 times the length of the springs over the number of harmonics so for first harmonic the wavelength l is equals lambda is equals 2l over 1 which is 2l for the first number of harmonics for second harmonics or second number of harmonics lambda n will be 2 lambda 2 is equals 2l over 2 which means lambda 2 is equals l so take note of all these minor derivations and explanations we are going to find them interesting later ladies and gentlemen wave form in vibrating strings this brings us to the end of this episode 
I do hope you found it interesting. Feel free to let me know how you feel using the comment box. Now don't fail to share with others. Subscribe to this channel. Get the flash dinner down application and comment if you have questions. See you in episode 63.